For a typical working family, childcare costs $250 a week or $13,000 per year. But this wasn't always the case. Childcare was already getting more expensive each year, growing twice as fast as overall inflation. That's a hefty price tag for most families in the United States. To make matters worse, the childcare crisis causes job disruptions for more than 2 million parents per year. And early educators, 90% of whom are women and 40% of whom are women of color, make poverty wages as childcare programs remain severely underfunded. Two hours of work, one hour with him, three hours of work. It's a multi-piece puzzle, disproportionately impacting women, those in need of childcare to do their jobs, and those whose jobs are childcare. Before the 1990s, the U.S. was a global leader in women's labor force participation. And in the decades since, high childcare costs and a lack of affordable options have pushed women out of the workforce. Because of this, mothers are more likely to leave a job or not go back to work. This has had a major impact on the U.S. economy, economic growth, and competitiveness. Even before the pandemic, 50% of the U.S. lived in childcare deserts, and America was already losing a whopping $57 billion in revenue, earnings, and productivity. And the coronavirus pandemic brought all of these issues to the forefront. Six months into the pandemic, parents working from home while taking care of their kids are burnt out. From 8 a.m. to about 2 p.m. every single day, um, focus on him. That's why Congress should pass a bold, sustainable solution for affordable, accessible, quality child care. Child care is not only a critical infrastructure for families, but also for the U.S. economy. To learn how you can support federal child care funding, visit costofchildcare.org and click Take Action.